Misty Copeland is a ballet dancer for American Ballet Theater. In 2015, she made history as the first African American woman to star in a ballet as principal dancer, which means she was the star of the show. In addition to being an amazing dancer and an inspiration to lots of people, she is also an author. She wrote a book about herself as a child learning to dance. Let's draw Misty Copeland. For this project, you need two pieces of white paper, scissors, a glue stick, as well as something you can trace a circle with about the size of your hand when it's outstretched. We're also using markers, crayons, and a pencil. Okay, let's draw Misty. So here are some examples of different ballerina poses. Now, some of them are facing forward, you can see, but one of them, she's looking off to the side. I'm gonna draw the one to the side. So I'm going to the middle, but then I'm moving mine over just a little bit. You can draw Misty in whatever shape or pose you want. If you notice, a lot of the body looks the same. So it all has, we all have this kind of trunk, which is like the center of our body and our chest area. And for that, I'm drawing a trapezoid. So I'm drawing an even larger trapezoid for like my hips. And now I have to figure out what I want Misty to be posed in. What position should her body be in? That's a pose. So I'm gonna have her on one leg with one leg back behind her, really long. You do not have to do the same pose as me. You can pick a different pose. You can mix and match the poses. It's up to you. For the arms, you wanna start at that top corner where the trapezoid is. See, I pointed out right there. That's your first line. Then go down and now follow your first line to create the other side of your arm. Now for your hands, you have two options. You can either do a circle, and that's great, or if you wanna be a little bit more challenging, you can do this, which is kind of like where you have your hands, the four of your fingers, and then your thumb. For her leotard that she's wearing, all we're gonna do is draw two lines I go from the bottom where the armpits are over to her neck and I'm gonna erase these lines right now but you don't have to erase them right now you can just see where the lines are better now that I've erased the other ones now I'm gonna add her hair so I'm gonna add a section where her bun goes and then up at the top a great big bun for her bun heads book that she wrote. This next step is an optional step. If you are comfortable tracing over your drawing, I would encourage you to trace over your figure so that you have a really strong line of where the body is and what it's doing. I'm also adding the eyes, mouth, and nose right now. Because my figure is off to the side, I'm only drawing one eye and half of her mouth. But you can draw, you should draw, not can, you should draw both eyes and her full smile if you drew her head staring straight at you like all the other poses. And again, tracing it with the marker is just an added step if you're comfortable. If you're like, you know what, I don't, I'm not comfortable tracing yet, that's fine too. You can use your regular pencil lines and you can move on to the next step. Okay, if you outlined, you can now erase your pencil marks. You don't have to erase all of them, but I would erase the ones around the eyes if you drew them with pencil first and then outlined them later or if there's any really big line that you drew that you want to disappear. That's optional. Now that you have drawn Misty, we're gonna add the stage that she's on. So I'm gonna go across the top first, and I'm gonna add these lines. These are my vertical lines now. I drew a kind of squiggly horizontal line. This is gonna create my curtain. So now that I have the top curtain, 
I'm gonna add the curtain on the side of her, but it's pushed to the side because she is on the stage. She is performing. And so you cannot close the curtains on her. She is just too good, too beautiful. You know, I love the ballet, but it's crazy because when you watch them dancing, they look so graceful. It looks so easy. I just wanna jump up and do it too. But it is hard work. Can you imagine standing on your toes? I'm so impressed by people. All right, you guys. Now that you've got your stage, it's time to color her in. Because Misty Copeland is African American, she has darker skin, so I'm using a brown crayon to draw in her face, her neck, her arms. I'll even use it for her legs. But before I do her legs, you'll see I'm gonna do something special with her shoes. First though, I'm gonna finish coloring in her hair. So I'm using a black crayon because I don't wanna lose definition in the face. So I don't use crayon, I don't use marker very often on the face. Okay, let's talk about Misty Copeland's shoes. She has brown shoes, which doesn't seem that special, but she talks about when she first started dancing, she couldn't find shoes that matched her skin color. And so she helped change that and make it possible for all sorts of girls, all different colors, boys too, all different types of ballerinas to find the shoes that match their skin color. That was something really important to her. All right, I'm gonna leave her leotard alone for right now. And instead, I'm gonna focus on the background. So I'm gonna start with marker, but then you're gonna see in a second, it's gonna jump into crayon and I'm gonna finish coloring it in. So I want you to watch and see how I do my background. And then there will be an opportunity for you to pause and work on your own background. So I did the curtains. Now I'm gonna do the stage, the floor that she's performing on. And finally, I need to do the backdrop, the stage behind her. And I'm gonna keep it really simple with a gray because I don't wanna take away from what's going on with her. There you go. Okay, pause here while you finish your background for Missy Copeland before we move on to the final bit. All right, when you are ready, take your circle tracer and trace a circle on your second piece of white paper. That's gonna be her tutu. So now we've got to color both the leotard that she's wearing and the tutu. You can use one color, you can use a bunch of colors, you can create a pattern or designs. It's up to you. I'm gonna do a radial symmetry movement around my tutu. So I'm going around in a circle with that middle point as kind of like the area I'm really focusing in and every all of my marks are going towards. I'm also gonna add a couple colors because, you know, why not? Do your tutu however you want. It can be bigger or it can be smaller. It doesn't really matter. When you are ready, cut out the tutu. That's also why you'll see I didn't really color in the lines and that's okay because now I'm gonna cut out whatever shape I want. All right, now just flip your circle over, fold it in half, and there's your tutu. You're gonna glue it down, so I'm gonna glue the back half, which is crayon, but that's okay. We can go over the crayon with the glue. And then I'm gonna position it on Misty, and she is ready for her performance. 
All right, there's a second one and you can see she's facing forward, so either is fine. I can't wait to see your Misty Copeland ballerinas.